So, check it out there. I stood the mast up, done it myself. It was not easy. And that pop top was really awkward. I don't imagine how they sailed with that up. I imagine it caused some real adventures. Anyway, uh, near as I could tell, that's how I got it up there, just standing up so I could get a look at it. What I'm considering is the possibility of making a little wrap of that thing, since I'm going to be messing with fiberglass. Uh, I could, uh, I could maybe enclose that in. I don't know. I'm kind of looking at it and seeing it. Uh, show you what we got here. It's, uh, it's got a nice chiller here. Okay. That really opens it up. Oh, uh, you can see in the companion way up there. It's really nice. You can see around in here. And down in here. And it's plenty of headroom, see? Standing straight up. So anyway, I like it. And it would give me a place to put solar cells as long as it clears the boom. You know, and with another couple inches with the solar cells up there, I may have to lower it down, but I could lower it that much and I'd still be able to stand in here real well. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking about with the spirit sailboat. I stood the mast up. I got the I, I had to get bolts, I didn't have pins, but it was not easy. I did it. I uh I could see where you know it's a lot nicer with two people. And there the light should hopefully work. And this is gonna check all the business here. I uh pulled the batteries out. Let's see what's going on in here. See. It only set up for one battery originally. And they had three of them crammed in here on top of this, sitting on top of this pump. And I could tell they were having a hard time. They were trying to wire that pump. And they had it wired 24 volts. So they probably, whenever they tried to turn any of the lights on or anything in here, it probably burned the lights out right away, 24 volts. Instead of 12. Anyway, uh, I bet it was quite an adventure for him. He was a lawyer. I got, I seen some paperwork that I dug out of here. Anyway, up in Denver. Anyway, this thing's pretty complicated. Anyway, I, uh, for my system, I figure I'm going to need five batteries anyway. Four for the 48 volt system. And, uh, At least one for the 12 volt system because I want to have a big inverter see that's uh so that I can have a, a refrigerator right here anyway I'm thinking it could be that anyway and uh a little galley here it could be worked out and a, and a little microwave see that would be real nice somehow in here with a good inverter you know that could mend some batteries it's at least two big ones, and they'd have to have their own solar cells too. See, so that'd be the other deal. The the 48 volt system. I guess I'm figuring I'd need four panels, four of those 100 watt panels. Up on the back there is the only place that uh, where the boom back, where the be back of the boom, and uh, adjustable on there, up and down, all four of them put together. It'd, uh, it'd clear the beam. It'd be a little wide, but it'd be all right. Oh, somebody's grinding. <laughs> I don't know if it's a cat sometimes. Anyway, um, then I'd see I'd that would be for the the, the electric motor baiting motivating part, the 48 volt, which would be four but four 12 volt batteries on its own. Then I'd need at least two two more panels 
and two more batteries for the 12 volt system which there's plenty of storage I don't have it would be nice to put them all right here though this is nice and centrally located under the back just a little bit to, to set it down and give it a cent low center of gravity there and the batteries are heavy and uh, anyway though when I get all if I, I can figure I can put one two one in the back there three and four and five under the companionway stairs here and that would be five and that's one for the 12 volt system and uh, I don't know don't know I uh, I got like I said there's other cabinets around here and other storage spots I might be able to put a battery in uh, I want to keep a quarter berth though because I prefer to sleep in the quarter berth I think anyway uh, but I want to make this table where it should fold up I don't know understand why they done what they done there it's a uh, it's always going to be in the way you know the way they done it it's uh, and it, uh, anyway I want it to fold up out of the way and, uh, real easy and get up there and get out of there and then kind of close that off too a little bit you know for the um, be birth anyway that table that's the way that should be and that wouldn't even be bad wouldn't be bad to close that in nice you know anyway so we're daydreaming we got it standing up see there the mast is standing the stays are all the, the running rigging looks okay I uh <coughs> <coughs> I guess I'm going to be able to get by with it, and be able to try it out, hopefully, at least. And then, uh, of course, I'll, uh, you know, this is just to ch check it out. I got to kind of get, to make sure all the pins are absolutely right and everything. Anyway, there you go. There's the update on the Spirit. Um, give me the nice look up there. That's the best looking thing there. Uh, give us a nice look at the Spirit sailboat. Mm-hmm.